Years ago, uh, Uta Stolz in Germany, she asked me to lecture at a weekend extra lesson conference. She asked me to, to lecture about the, the currents and the cube and so forth. But she said to me, don't do it the American way, do it the German way. And I said, what is that? <laughs> so, so I didn't know really ex what to do. So I went to bed. And then during the night, <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. I went, I went to bed and I, during the night I woke up and I, I saw, or actually I didn't see it, but I, I knew I had dreamt the, 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 the diagram of the currents in relation to the, um, the moral core uh, exercise, painting exercises. And there is, there is a relation. And then the, the next morning I woke up and then in talking to the German people, th the concept came. So, and then I found out how consequent Audrey was in going back to the archetype. So I would like you, to, I, I'd like to, to take you a little, for, uh, for a little time through these exercises and then come back to the, the theme of today. Is that okay? Yes. It's, it, it's in my book, but I think maybe it's nicer that I tell. So we have these four current, this, uh, this, uh, these six currents. Sentient soul, sentient body, astral body, etheric body, physical, and those five currents, they form a cup, actually, a vessel for the ego to incarnate. And that's not the personal ego, it's also uh, not only the personal ego, but it's also the higher ego. Especially in the physical body seen as a body of senses, the total of senses, there it's the higher ego, working from the outside inward. In the early times of the development, it's through the lower senses, and we know from the 1909 lectures that Steiner did precisely describes which spiritual members are in connection with, this, with the functioning of, functioning of these lower senses. These are spirit men, life spirit, and what's the other one? Spirit self. These are members we don't have yet individual. They are still under the guidance of the hierarchies. And then, so that's why we say higher ego. It's not individual yet. The lower ego lives in the blood. So, in the moral color painting exercises, you work with painting. That's different than with working with movement. When you're working with movement, we are working with the mechanics, the laws of mechanic. So when you move an arm, when you move a leg, you go into the physical laws, and from the physical, that affects the supersensible sheets. That's the imprinting in process. So what you do physically is imprinted into the etheric. So it's from down up. That's one way of imprinting. The other way of imprinting is from top, bo top to bottom. So through the ego and the astral down. So when we do painting, we work with color. And color is related to the astral body. The colors appeared on the old moon. And there are... Uh, uh, let's say a counter, no, not a counterforce, a healing to the evil that appeared at that time. Colors. So, and when you take the six um, moral color exercises, you know, you know, you, you might have noticed when you've done them that you start with the red, vermilion red, and then orange, yellow, green, cobalt blue, violet, and even in the violet you put a little bit of black to make it darker, so it's closer to the darkness. So you go through the rainbow colors. There you have an archetype. The rainbow is the archetype for the astral body. Have your class paint rainbow, rainbow colors. They love it, that's the first thing. Secondly, it's objective. Thirdly, it's healing, <laughs> because it's a picture of the astral body, a harmonious picture of the astral body. In these uh, colors we make either we leave out or when they, we have younger uh, for sex graders, young sex graders they do it for the first time, you can cover the page with that color and then take away the color and make geometrical forms. <coughs> 
I don't know, do you know how, that, how these exercises uh, uh, appeared? Because Rudolf Steiner was in Dornach, and in Dornach there was a small school, the Friedrichsschule, and there was Hilde Boos Hamburger. She was one of the artists, painters, and she was the, te the painting, the art, art teacher in that school. And she invited Rudolf Steiner, or oh, while well, he passed by, he came. And there was one girl, and she, she, they didn't know what to do with her. She was sixth grader. And then Rudolf Steiner looked at her, and he, he, later he spoke, uh, spoke to Hilde Boos Hamburger, and she said, this girl, she is clairvoyant. We should get rid of that. Rudolf Steiner didn't want her to be clairvoyant because it, hin it was hindering the children. All children are clairvoyant when they're small, when they're little, because their ego is not yet present. Because the ego can suppress all these things that pop up from the, from the etheric and from the astral and so forth, but the ego needs to connect with the physical and then you're not clairvoyant. You see, and that's what he wanted. He wanted the girl to incarnate. So he gave ex uh, Hildebus Hamburger the exercise to, to paint geometrical forms, paint, but give the child the, the, the task to start from the outside, think the geometrical form, and leave it out. So she had to pay attention all the time what she was doing. So they started with easy, uh, easy geometrical forms, squares, triangles, and so forth. So she had paint and she started at the periphery and then gradually came towards the end that she could make, she can end up with this open geometrical form and then she could, could put another color to color that in. And that was an exercise for her to concentrate on the physical and not hover in between somewhere, the etheric and the astral. So to get rid of this, you understand? And, and help for incarnation. You know, when you're a little bit out, you're not really paying attention to the physical. So she had to focus on the physical and on these geometrical forms. Yeah, how, how yeah, that's how she did it. So she starts from the outside, you start painting here, and the exercise is a triangle. So you start painting, 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 painting. Closer, 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 and then at the end you finish it off, and then you have a white triangle, and then you color it in with another color, yeah? And that can, can be done with any uh, geometrical form, even two geometrical forms overlapping one another, make it more, more, more um, difficult, or challenging, how do you call it? No. So, <coughs> Hilde Boos Hamburger shared what she had found with Audrey because she started already a series. And this vermilion with magenta, that's from Steiner's lectures, the color lectures. One of the color lectures, you will find them. And that where he speaks, when you stare, when you, when you really penetrate the vermilion, the red, then at a certain point magenta will come as a counter movement, as a counter, not as a, as a reaction, let's say that. It's, the diagram is even in the lecture. So, in painting, we start from the astral body, the colors, the world of color, and from astral we work on the etheric. It's always the movement between the astral and the etheric when you are painting, especially when you do watercolor painting on a moist piece of paper. Water is connected with the etheric. Color is connected with the astral. So you bring color into water, or you bring the astral into the etheric, and that will affect the, the physical. That's the opposite of movement. You see, there you are the, have the physical, the mechanical, and you bring that, and, and that the movement is imprinted into the etheric from below up. When you're painting, you work from top to bottom. Yeah, you get the principle? So that's always that nice, that you have movement exercises, and you meet that with, with painting at the end of your lesson. So this inner, from, from inside out, and from outside in. Yeah? So, the first painting, like we have already have described, is this vermilion, and then you want this fire to be cooled down, to be, how do you say it? Cooled down, is that okay? Yeah. So, there you have this element in the, in the soul that, can, that, that makes the child choose the yellow instead of the, of, of the magenta.